Recorded live. Well, welcome everybody to the Independence Day Hater Cast. First, we're going to start with Mr. Sharky Laguana. I got some uh, comments on him. He writes an email to the Merce Master over there at Caseypedia. He's mad because they got a picture of him up there. He's like, I only went skiing for four hours, blah, blah, blah. Sharky Laguna, Laguana, whatever the fuck your name is, you have a moral responsibility as a businessman to take care of the customers that come in and give you a living. By supporting Casey, you enable him to gallivant around the world, go to countries, and create a big frickin' mess. Without your help in advertising money, then he wouldn't be in Australia, he wouldn't be in Seattle right now, and his wife wouldn't be facing a cash call mess. You can justify it however you want that I'm a businessman and I'm just using an opportunity to inflate my page rank count. I'm saying you're a prick. There you go. That's the bottom line. Hey, Annie, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Happy I'm doing Fourth of good. July. Well, thank you. This is the Independence Day. You know, we want to know if Casey's going to finally get independence from his creditors. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think he's uh, going to get independence for a while. If Galena's going to get some independence. If, uh, you know, Below the Crowd is going to get some independence from wine. If uh, Dwayne's going to get some independence from his two-buck chuck, and so on and so on. Mark, are you there? Hey, dude, what's happening? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Sitting here listening to Shaka Khan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you know, the, uh, the song is I Feel For You. <laughs> <laughs> it giggles that don't start, here, okay? Oh, <laughs> no, what, what are you doing there? Oh, I had some court work to do. Well, uh, did you finish it? Are you all done? Is it all completed and filed? It's, um, <laughs> you tricky dog. Yeah, it's been filed. Oh, uh, so uh, that's no, that's no, no, no. Wait, 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 sharks! Come on now. Now you know I, you know, you know. I'm just bluffing, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a method in my madness, put it that way. Well, that that sounds good. Today is pretty much, you know, Fourth of July, even though it's a day early. So, you know, with that in mind and everything, how do you think that relates to with your court filing and whatnot? Oh, I, I think it's a great thing. I mean, you know, it's but <laughs> I mean. I, I tend to look at it for what it is, and that's, uh, you know, a thermonuclear device. You know, that's my opinion. Uh, as far as being independent, you know, hey, it, I think the objective here is clear that, you know, the world needs to be independent of p- particular actions, not necessarily people. <laughs> you know, all you people out there that were saying, oh, he's not going to do it, he's not going to file, he's full of shit, I know you can't <laughs> comment on this or whatnot, i just like to say you're, you're a bunch of pricks. Um, what do you plan on doing for the 4th of July? Actually, you know, the funny thing you ask, i got to stay at the house. And we get people from San Francisco and the Valley and whatnot coming up there. It's like, you know, it's like a resort town. Last year, these guys brought fireworks up to the mountains, right? I mean, come on. Anyway, i got to stay at the house to, to kind of watch stuff because we get too many yahoos with fireworks around there. Whoa, 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 let me ask one more thing here. Does this have anything to do with your 50th birthday coming up and you're turning into an old fart? Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. I can still out backpack most of the young guys. I mean, come <laughs> on now. Hello? Hello, Dwayne? Hey, what's going on? He's pretty pissed off. He firmly blames you and Mark and Rob and everybody associated with you <laughs> for driving the wedge between his wife. And I said, you know, why don't you look at yourself? It's not them that drove the wedge. It's you. You're gallivanting around Australia when you could have taken that money. How much that could have paid a good chunk of cash call and got them off your back. And instead, your goddamn wife is working two fucking jobs to get out of your fucking mess, you little piece of shit. Excuse my language, but it just, it just upsets me of what he's doing to his wife. Uh, and, and I totally agree. Because now with Casey, you know, she filed for separation. The locks are changed. But look at you now, Casey. You're on top of the world, huh? All back of the bus and shit. (laughs) I love it when you get pissed. I'm sorry. It just tickles me. I mean, Casey, if you want to come down and go to Jamba Juice, you know, so I can dump a frickin' wheatgrass on your head, that would be fine. (laughs) This, This kid has got elephant nuts. I'm telling you. He just doesn't care. Well, he must have elephant nuts because when he went to Australia and he called Galena and he said, okay, you can go with me to get the car, otherwise pick it up, but this is what it's going to be. I don't want you to ask me where I'm going, why I'm going, when I'm coming back, da 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 I mean, oh, dude. Ugh. Now, I know a couple women, if their husband said that, they'd go with him to the airport, and I guarantee when that guy got on a plane, he'd have black eyes, a bloody nose, and probably a broken jaw. One of the things that's really irritating him is 
he has always controlled the story and the information flow. You know, it's all shucks. He tried to be an entrepreneur, and it just didn't work out, by golly. And now, because other sides of the story are coming out, people are starting to see that he is a he is what he is. He's a fraudster. He's an admitted criminal. Casey's getting irritated. You know, he likes the puff pieces. He loves the USA Today. And, uh, he, you know, he loves that, what he calls, sweet media exposure. All right. The one, the only, M. Singh. How you doing? Well, unfortunately, I've been up to uh, things um, outside the uh, realm of uh, Casepedia. Anyway, I've been reading. And um, I, I noticed that right now Mr. Saren's already in Seattle. But here's the actual um, $5,000 question that no one's asked yet. Did Mr. Saren purchase an iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dwayne, did you give him the money for an iPhone? Um, I did not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, yeah. I breathed a sigh, just let out a sigh of relief. I, I remember when Mr. Singh knocked uh, Casey upside the head. I thought, I, I thought he was going to come at me with one. <laughs> I'm glad it was an iPhone deal. <laughs> I you know, I thought I saw him on the newsstand in line all night to buy an iPhone on sweet corporate credit. Uh, <laughs> I was also I was also looking at um, his uh, photo site. I mean, I, I think if he really wanted to anger the haters, you, you saw the picture of him um, posing with the kangaroo, and you also saw the picture of him the weird Tarzan post. I was actually thinking um, when I was reading Exurban Nation that, wow, an actual post where he comes across in a masculine role as, as opposed to a feminine one. Then I actually go and look at the picture, and I'm like, he, he made Tarzan effeminate. How could he possibly do that? How could anyone do that? Um, I'm not really sure exactly why it was. Um, perhaps, I guess, to give interest to his already fading blog, um, he actually wanted to um, have um, Galena go into the talk cast. Um, so he could, I would assume, publicly berate her. Um, and it's still kind of interesting since um, since the handle, It's Me, Casey, maybe he actually thought that that was Galena. And it turned out, of course, that he received Dwayne. <laughs> well, that's a scary thought, you know. That's kind of the equivalent of uh, going to sleep next to Galena, you know, and waking up in the morning and there's Dwayne. Whoa! That's enough to make me want to slit my wrist. <laughs> I should also point out, given the fact that tomorrow is Independence Day, that at the actual time of the Declaration of Independence, if you forged or wrote a promissory note that you didn't have the proper funds for, that was a hanging offense back in colonial times. <laughs> oh, and the third thing that I wanted to mention about uh, Mr. Laguana, what I would do, especially um, if he still objects to what you've done, then do what I would do in this situation. I would just call him a sellout. Uh, claim that he violated all the Marxist-Leninist principles that founded uh, Creeper Lagoon. Uh, just keep going on with that. That will be extremely painful. He'll never get invited to um, cannabis parties with a hookah. Um, Mr. Swabby will get into the VIP area much sooner than he ever will. And um, that should uh, pretty much take care of it for you. <laughs> all right, MC. You have a great 4th of July. Thanks for calling in. Dwayne, are you there? Sharky, can you tell how many people are actually listening right now? But ballpark, I would say I would say thirty people. I just found out we got a special listener. But if you guys go to EN right now, all the haters, would y'all do me a favor and just write a little quick uh, one sentence, two sentence, three sentence deal, and, and let Galena know how much you support her. So we just found out that one of the people here listening is Galena. Galena. I think you're doing a damn good job, and I think you're doing the right thing, and I think you show moral character above and beyond for dealing with cash call and working two jobs, and even after uh, bowing out from school, you're doing the right thing, and you've got more moral character than I've seen in 100 people that I've done business with in the past. With that, I hope you have a great 4th of July with your family. All right, everybody, thanks for listening. Have a good day.